My story is entitled The True Story of Balaam's Ass. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the, the biblical story of Balaam's Ass, but there's a behind the scenes that you might be interested in. Creative Chronicle is a uh, community the of writers the in the South Sound that meet. If anything, could make not necessarily. It's, it's not a membership or anything like that. We, we, we meet because we want to, it's open to everybody but it's about creating that sense of community through storytelling. The king was a nasty, brutish man with intense body odor, a bad temper, and abundance of cowardice. The mission statement was essentially we were going to foster relationships based on the mutual admiration of the written word. That was kind of our, our thing, that was our tagline. You're making me look bad, I swear. If I had a sword right now, I'd do you in. We try to cultivate a welcoming space for anyone that wants to share their stories, and, and that's what we've been doing. I mean, it's been pretty, Pretty amazing. It's kind of about how when you're young and you're trying to outrun your childhood and where you came from uh, and then you get somewhere and you're like, ah, how did I get here? Is this, is this the journey I'm really on? Like Each one of our readings start with five featured readers that have been featured on the, on the website, but then it opens up to open mic as well. And we, we really do allow almost anything to happen. <laughs> um, we've had people rap. We've had people give political speeches. We've had performance We've had pieces. comedy pieces. Just yeah. walk up there and people do stand up we, for five minutes. And, and just, it's an open mic situation, but it's about, again, it's about bringing that community together and, and people sharing personal stories and community stories to, to create our, you know, our, our regional stories to create that community. Yeah. My grandmothers were immigrants. One Irish and the other so Mexican, her father pushed the family north along flattened cattle trails. I worked as an editor for a magazine that was around for about eight months. And although it didn't last that long, we had started doing readings and everyone felt like, wouldn't it be cool if we had this, you know, opportunity to read? Wouldn't it be cool if we had an opportunity to share our work and have a platform, especially for short stories, I think. Right, we, we saw how it worked once with, with a very fleeting situation. And, and, it and we realized that, like, we need that venue. That needed to continue in some fashion. I stood up, brushed the sand from my trousers, and made my leave with a guilty clip. So we talked about it for a long time before it actually happened. And at that first reading yeah. in March of 2014, there's about 60 people. Yeah, it's about that many. It was just a room full of people. I didn't know most of them. I was really kind of like, this is, it, it was pretty obvious that everyone else was filling that void that we were hoping to fill. So it was just right out of the gates. Pretty rewarding. Fifi's whole thing is inclusivity. South Sound, it's, it's amazing how many people just keep coming. And, and just, every yeah. every month we find new people that new just people, show up. And, new people constantly. Oh, I heard about you yeah. through a friend, or I saw you online. And we didn't even know these people were there. Like, how, how did they all come up? We thought we knew everybody. That yeah. was the thing. Like, we started Little just inviting, we, we just started inviting our friends. And, and as, as we've grown and as we've just stayed around, the longevity of it, people have become accustomed to us being there. So they, they show up. And again, every month I see new people. She'd had a little dog once, a little white dog who had stayed by her side for 12 years. Writing is a very solitary art, but to know that you're not alone creates a, a sort of power behind it, to know that there's other people. Um, and I think I mean, it feels inspiration on top of that. I mean, you can come as a writer not to share your work but hear other people's stories and like a story can move through you and click and you can go home and, and produce something based off of something that you heard. Let out a howl that she had never heard from the little creature before. It's nice to kind of crawl out from, from out and feel like you can share that. Feel like you know, because it, it's a very vulnerable thing, I think, to, right, to right. come out and be like, okay, you know, I'm bearing my soul to you. And to feel comfortable doing that, I think, is, you know, powerful and magical. And what we, what we aim to do is kind of have that welcoming space for people. So she had known then, and she'd known forever, and she would know always, now, clean. To have that venue where you're celebrating that raw nerve of, yeah. of, of personal expression and then just giving the people a stage to do that and then uh, and allowing them to meet the other people like themselves that <laughs> it's wonderful to watch